Welcome everyone to the home of the war chant, Osceola, Renegade, and the Florida State Seminoles, a place simply known to some as the Dope. Today, a clash between a couple of ACC rivals in a game that could have big-time implications for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Stanford Cardinal taking on the Florida State Seminoles. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Stanford ready to kick it away to start this game. He'll bring it back looking for help. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Here comes the offense on first down. Looking to throw, it's Glenn. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. It's complete! A huge pickup! You go with the first snap of the game, and you make a big play like that, your confidence just soars. And I don't know if the defense was sleepwalking here, Reese, but it's almost as if they didn't know the game had actually started. They were just kind of lethargic in the back end. I don't think they were anticipating this offense taking a shot on the first play. Here's the handoff. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. The corners are walked up tight. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. These DBs going to give a little cushion. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. Caught, close to the marker, it's Lucas. Knocked down after a short game, but enough to move those chains. Shotgun fundamentals are so key. He was like a shortstop. Caught the shotgun snap and right away rifled it out of his hands like he was turning too. That was beautiful. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Trying to find his man on first down. Fires to the middle. A strike downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Three snap motion in the backfield. Going up top on first down. And he will take it in. Touchdown, no. A score for the big fella here. Why are tight ends so effective in the red zone? Well, these aren't the guys that are going to burn by you and go for 70 most of the time. But when you can use their big body frames from 
threaten them to run the football and be a blocker in the running game. And now you slip them in the secondary to make that big play. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff. The 17. He stopped at the 17. Line gets set, first down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Stanford wants to push the pace. Looking to pass. It's Daniels. Fires to the big fella. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. From the gun. Wants to pass. It's complete to the right. They get him on the ground, and with that, we'll head to the second quarter. down to start the drive after the break. They'll go to the ground. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. On second down, he'll let it fly. Fires to the big fella. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. And the ball is intercepted. Got some room to run. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. And this ball looks like it just got away from the quarterback. Yeah, I think he made the right decision. He was going to the receiver that seemed open, but just not very accurate on the throw, and that leads to the interception. Wants to throw on first down. Unloads to the right. Just missed his man. Gave him just a little too much. Yeah, and I, I don't know what happened. He didn't look open as it is. And the QB's trying to make a play, trying to force the ball. But at least he threw it where his guy could catch it or nobody could catch it. 325. Hawk, Hawk. On 
Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Right back up top on second and ten. Slings it downfield. Makes the grab. And they bring him down, but did you see this freshman rifle that thing in there? First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. He wants to throw. Let's it go to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Florida State. This quarterback really does a nice job seeing the field and reading coverage. And when you go empty and you spread the defense out, it's easier to see what the defense is doing. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the finisher, an 18-yard touchdown throw. Bringing it out. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Stanford has it back, the Cardinal offense returning to the field. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but man, you look at the scoreboard, you're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity. Create some momentum, cut it to a one score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. Here comes the offense on second down. They'll run it from the gun. They needed to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. Caught near the sticks. It's four. And works it to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down. There's got to be a sense of urgency for this offense right now. They're trailing. They're going to be kicking off to open the second half. So they need points. They need to go tempo. Maybe that last first down gets them a little bit of confidence. Stanford going back to work with another first down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. The hurry up now. Second down. Clock ticking. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Motion from the offense. Little touch pass to the receiver. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. They're scrambling to get to the line quickly for this big fourth down attempt. Try to get it on the ground. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. A simple play, simple game, get that first down. That's all that matters. I don't try to trick. I go back to what I know I do really, really well. To the air, it's Daniels. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. They want to get this defense on its heels. He's back to throw on second down. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. There's a good example of how pressure on the quarterback can affect his accuracy. There was no way that ball was being Looking to pick up a first down on third and short from the 43. Quarterback will audible. They'll try to get the first through the air. Gets it out quickly. 
Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. Feeling some heat. Catch in the middle. It's four. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Timeout. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. On second down, he'll let it fly. Caught in the backfield, it's four. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage before he was stopped, but using the running back in the short passing game gives him a first down. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And they'll send out the field goal unit. He needs to make sure those mechanics are pure from the right hash and 40 yards away. It is good! I know they're trailing going into the locker room here at halftime, but kicking that field goal gives them a little bit of a jolt, a little bit of a boost of momentum that they can carry with them into the second half, and there's a lot of football left to go here. I can't wait to see what happens. Oh, look at Mr. Oh, the ball's out on the return! Maybe some nerves on that return, but a fortunate bounce, and they'll retain possession. And the Seminoles will kick it off to start the second half. The returner will field it and try to do some business. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. Trailing by a couple of scores, they'd like to generate some confidence here early in the third quarter. Down two possessions, the coaching staff met in at halftime, and they've probably scripted this opening drive, just like they do at the start of the game. They've now got an idea of what plays they feel most confident in, what plays their quarterback is seeing the best to go out here and execute a scoring drive. Well, and it's nice to get the ball first. Like, I got the first opportunity to close. He's off to the races. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Fantastic job there, buying time and then using his speed to go get a huge chunk play. You saw on defense a lot of people in the back end with their heads turned around chasing receivers. It's dangerous. You want to play man coverage. You don't want to keep your eyes on the quarterback. You're going to pay for it. You saw it right there. Stanford quickly to the line. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, they've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. The first thing you have to do to make these plays successful offensively is I have to block the edge. I, I got to get my speedster in space. They didn't do a good job of getting that guy out there in space where he could really use his jets. Nice job by the defense, understanding it, seeing it, rallying to it, and tackling that guy for a loss. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there, getting that first. Here's an opportunity for this offense in search of its first touchdown, its first and ten. Leaves it with the back. Knocked down at the 29 after a pickup of four. You see, they need more runs like that. It's just it's been so few and far between. Defensively, they've been in position. They've been winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, getting off of blocks and rallying to the ball carrier. This defense has done a nice job slowing down the run game this morning. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Give him six. Touchdown, Cardinal. Sometimes we ask coaches about halftime adjustments, and they go blah, 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 blah. 
I mean, sometimes they make some good ones. <laughs> sometimes that blah, 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 blah actually works, but it's working now, but it might be too little too late, but at least you got the party started. They'll try to get the two-point conversion here and make it a three-point game. To the air, it's Daniels. Getting some heat. And the defense gets to him and snuffs out the two, and they will draw no closer here. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Lucas. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone is not a good one. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. To the air on first down. Unloads to the wideout. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. The incompletion brings us to second and ten. He's looking to throw. Fires to the right. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. And I tell you what, we've kind of gotten to the point where we expect QBs to be robots and just never to miss and always put it right on the face mask or right on the numbers. And right there, you could tell he just missed a little bit, a little bit off, and I guarantee he's tapping his helmet saying, hey, that's my bad. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Misses receiver there. It's incomplete. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. They're throwing for it on fourth down. He's got him, and they convert. Oh, boy, this freshman quarterback has a host, and he's seen that thing in there. That tells you a lot about their confidence in this quarterback. Fourth down early in the game on your own end, and you go for it, but when you make decisions and throws like that, it's easy to see why. The Seminoles have it with a first and ten. Wide out in motion. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Second down now as they're ready to go back to work. Defense going to jam these receivers right off the line. Maybe some confusion on the snap count. It's going to be a false start. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They'll line up for a second down play. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Back to throw, it's Glenn. Right down the middle. Complete to the left. Knocked off his feet. 
And as a quarterback, when you're facing man coverage, you've got to find your best one-on-one -on -one matchup. That receiver did a tremendous job. Quickness, changing direction, out of his break, able to create separation. There was no question the quarterback was going to target that receiver on that play. They'll immediately call timeout. Timeout, Florida State. This could be the biggest play of the game so far. Third down and two. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. And how about the timing of the linebacker on the blitz to get in the backfield and get the tackle for loss? Is there anything better for a linebacker than to run on a blitz and nobody's home except the back? Such a great feeling when, when the Moses parts the Red Sea and the hole opens up and you go fill it. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. Ready, now, this is rolling the dice, or perhaps they've gone outside their head. They're already up. Boy, this could really backfire if they don't convert on fourth down. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Gotta have it here on fourth down. Fires to the middle. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. And as a defense, that's all you can ask for. Give the ball back to your offense. Yes, you're still down. You gave them a chance. They got the football. They got some time left. Now can they put a drive together, maybe go tie this game, maybe go win this game. Great stop by this defense. He let the thing fly quickly, but he couldn't make the connection. Second and ten here. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. Scanning the field, it's Daniels. He looks that one in nicely. Defense comes up with a really big stop there. That's nice. They don't give up the first down, so the clock keeps working. But they're on their own end of the field. They know this offense is going to start taking shots into the end zone. They better have some guys ready on the back end, ready to swat some balls away and make some plays. They probably feel good about their field goal chances from the 29, but they'd love to convert this third and short. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. They'll run for it on fourth down. They knock him down, but he gets enough to give Stanford a first down. That's the mindset of this entire offense. They're not going to let you off the hook just because it's fourth and one. And that running back, he wanted the ball, too. You could see there right after the third down play, looking at his sideline, saying, give me the ball. I want to go get this. I'm going to make a play for my team. And he comes through big time. Stanford gets set to snap it on first down. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wide out. Wide open downfield. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. When you're a QB and you have enough time to take out a sandwich and finish the sandwich before you have to make a pass down the field, that's a good day at the office. So the opportunity with a touchdown here to take a fourth quarter lead. Out of the gun, looking to throw. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. And how about the answer from this defense? You give up a huge play. What do you do? Bounce right back, rush the quarterback, put pressure on him, and get the enormous set.
The run up the middle, looking for the score. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. If they can get it in here, we could have a th touchdown, Stanford! And inside a minute to go, and they've got the lead. And I love it. I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. I trust my offensive line to pave the way, give the ball to my running back, and know he's going to physically punch this thing into the end zone. And the extra point is good, and the lead is two here in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And there will be no return on this one as the ball bounds into the end zone. Remember, all they have to do is get it close enough for a field goal here. Back to pass, it's Glenn. Looking down the middle. It's caught downfield. They make the stop, but that's going to do it here as time has expired, and that'll just serve to pad the stats. It's one thing to execute early in the game. Tight ball game, right at the end. You need the clutch plays. These guys deliver. And you can't teach that gene. You have people that, that, that can focus in the moment or they can't. Great job by the team. Stay in focus, understanding it's a close battle. Win those one play at a time and then look up and then, heck, I got the win. Yeah, David, they just had ice in their veins. And you can tell there's tremendous leadership on this football team. Guys, 